and to touch on issues of leadership. And I say to the members opposite, I say to members opposite, that if you want to talk about leadership by the Prime Minister, I ask the question, where was the leadership being shown when our distinguished Governor-General was being slagged on a breakfast television programme? Racist and offensive remarks were made right in front of him. Where was the leadership shown from him to, to respond to those questions on the spot? And John Key is one of three people who bear responsibility for this very unfortunate saga. One of the three. Paul Henry has paid the price for the comments that he made, and appropriately so. But John Key and the chief executive of TVNZ bear responsibility as well. You have to say this. Well, the Prime Minister has failed to recognise and stand up for the interests of the 100,000 New Zealanders of Indian origin when Paul Henry made his racist and offensive remarks about a, a, a person of Indian descent not being an appropriate choice as the Governor-General. And I wonder if this weekend the Prime Minister will attend one of the many Diwali events around the country as our Hindu community celebrates their sacred festival. And will he stand shoulder to shoulder alongside members of the Indian community and enjoy their hospitality when he failed so miserably recently to defend their interests, to defend the reputation of a man who grew up in that community, who has been a distinguished New Zealander and who in front of an audience of hundreds of thousands was was denigrated on our state television channel. I think John Key bears as much responsibility for that as Paul, Paul Henry. Not only did he fail to challenge those racist and offensive remarks, he sat there for the next few minutes and virtually encouraged Paul Henry to continue. He continued offensive comments. He then started questioning who should be the next Governor-General, and the Prime Minister allowed him and encouraged him to rule out two other distinguished New Zealanders, one a former member of this House, Jeanette Fitzsimons, and the other the mad butcher, Sir Peter Leach, who ironically Paul Henry was due to host on This Is Your Life last weekend. So the Prime Minister sat there like a stuffed dummy and allowed not just one distinguished New Zealander, but three distinguished New Zealanders to be denigrated. And I say that is an issue of leadership when anything like that is being sent in front of a politician of any stature, certainly at Prime Minister level, I think you need to find your moral compass and stand up and say, this is unacceptable, this is offensive, and this deserves to be responded to immediately, not sit there, smile and wave. He failed a large section of the New Zealand community at a time when it wanted true leadership. It's not the first time that Paul Henry has caused offence, and in fact that's where the question mark about the judgment of Television New Zealand and its chief executive come into question. I note that we have had a series of events like this increasingly trenchant, increasingly causing division and offence in the community, and until now there's not been any attempt by Television New Zealand to rein in that presenter. They sat by and said publicly that, oh yes, he was a bit naughty, but by golly, he rated. That should not be the only requirement of our state-owned broadcaster. We should have expectations that a state broadcaster will have some requirement other than simply to maximise ratings and revenue. That is why it is the state broadcaster, and it is a shame on TVNZ. And I acknowledge that Paul Henry has been on air through two governments, but note this comment how he has, uh, as one media commentator put it, se seemed to go really ballistic from the time of this change of government onwards. And part of the reason for that, of course, is that this government has told Television New Zealand to ditch any other requirement, to not think about issues of national identity and balance and ethics and judgment, but simply to focus on the bottom line and to maximise the dividends for this government. And so when you get that kind of uh, requirement put upon Television New Zealand, it is no surprise. That said, you do expect people in positions of authority like the Chief Executive of Television New Zealand and who is Editor-in-Chief to recognise the commercial risks he's putting upon his company. And I have to say, I think that the real motivation for TVNZ to take action at the level it has done against Paul Henry was not really the response of hundreds and hundreds of New Zealanders, the biggest ever response, but the threat of one of their major advertisers to start pulling its advertising. That's what rang their bells. That's what caused them to intervene and respond. Not the fact that tens of thousands of New Zealanders were personally offended by the comments made in front of the presence of the Prime Minister, who also failed to defend the integrity of our Governor-General. Shame on him. Mr Speaker.